Hey everyone, welcome back to Rapid Scan 3D Tips and Tricks. Uh, today we're going to talk about Creon uh, Zenith software, how to create the cutting plane. We get this question a lot, so what we're going to do is first we're going to establish cutting plane. Um, as we notice, we have the probe has to be attached. Um, make sure the probe is activated. So what we're going to do is we're going to select maybe 10 points and then start probing. And I'm going to set this as default. And then we're going to go around on our cutting plane that we want to create. And we're just going to basically collect points. Once we complete this, it's going to give you arbitrary plane. It doesn't have to be square or triangle. It could be any shape. doesn't matter. And then we're going to stop. Now that's our cutting plane because the probe uh, basically selected those planes. And then now we're going to go to the cutting plane and we're going to select that and offset 0.5 millimeter. And then we're going to start scanning our part. Now, one of the most important thing is um, if you notice, there's nothing scanning. I'm actually scanning stuff, but it's only scanning below the 5.5 millimeter. To be able to correct this, there's an option you have to click. It's called the inverse, and then it will scan whatever is on the top of that 0.5 millimeter will be scanned. And I'm going to show you guys in the next uh, how to set that up to the zero. And let's go ahead and scan a few more left and right. I'm just collecting as much as information so you can see how the um, the setup is different. Now, all right. Now I'm gonna exit out and rotate this. You can see that's my clip and plane, and everything below that it's selected. It only scan the below. Now we're gonna go ahead and then. Go ahead and we're going to do another scan, but this time we're going to inverse that scan. <clears throat> and you notice it's not scanning anything the bottom. I'm just basically making sure that I'm collecting enough data, um, testing out, see my... Um, Exposure is good enough. Now we're going to start scanning. All right. Let's go ahead and collect more data. Once we complete we can pause it and stop the scan and then exit out. Now you see they have, we have two different setups, one for the bottom, one for the top. This has happened because our cutting plane has an offset ratio. We need to set that zero so we don't have this issue next time. Uh, first, I want to make sure that we have the correct probe uh, attachment selected. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and create another one, another plane. So we're going to go back to the probe, make sure that six millimeters set up. That's also set correct. Now we're going to touch several points on our inspection table. I just basically go around the part and just select uh, larger surfaces and then create those points. Now we have that. Now I'm going to rotate this. If you notice, it's actually away from the Z axis. So now we're going to do, we're going to go to the settings. 
and we're going to scroll. Uh, there's an offset. What's supposed to be set up to zero. So let's go ahead and create another one. I'm going to check a few values first. We don't need to calibrate anything. I want to make sure that these are good calibrations. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to scan again. Once I've set those values zero, and I just did a quick run, and then now I notice that everything set zero because now I can collect more data from my part accurately. And my plane is not too far off from the table. These are the quick setups uh, before you start scanning. So just pay attention. Uh, the settings and which probe you're using, what type of scanner you're using, it actually makes a difference and then it'll make your life easier. So once we finish, we can zoom in and you can see there's nothing below the cutting plane. Everything is nice and clean. Uh, sometimes I collect stuff while I'm moving my arm around. You can just, you know, go ahead and select those and delete them. And now everything is set up correctly and I can continue my scanning and thanks for joining us and have a great day